in the previous video we have seen addition of vectors then difference between two vectors and then magnitude that means how to find the resolution of a vector now we are going to see scalar multiplication of a vector so scalar multiplication of a vector is nothing but multiply a vector by a number see this is an a vector now a vector is multiplied by a number 5 it's very simple this is a vector multiply a by a number 5 so 5 into 2 5 into 3 and 5 into 4 so you have got 10 i cap plus 15 j cap plus 10 k cap sorry 20 k cap now products of vector that means multiplication of two vectors multiplication of two vectors can be done in two ways one is scalar product second is vector product scalar product is also called as dot product and vector product is also called as cross product now what is scalar product the scalar product if you take two vectors like a vector and b vector the two vectors must be non-zero vectors <coughs> now the product of two vectors that means scalar product is represented using a dot a vector dot b vector so that's why it is also called as dot product so a vector dot b vector the formula is modulus of a vector into modulus of b vector into cos theta and when you find the dot product of any two vector and if it is equal to zero only the, the reason for the answer is equal to zero is either a is e modulus of a is equal to zero or modulus of b is equal to zero or angle between the two vectors is equal to 90 degree what do you mean by 90 degree that means the both the vectors are perpendicular to a each other a vector is perpendicular to b vector can you understand when the dot product of any two vectors is equal to zero if either of any either either vector must be zero that means either a vector or b vector magnitude is zero or both is zero or the angle between the two vectors is equal to 90 degree that means both are perpendicular to each other now consider this is a vector and this is b vector <coughs> how to find the dot product so a vector dot b vector i have written the first vector dot second vector now you have to multiply the like vectors coefficient so i vector and i vector coefficient is 1 and 3 j vector and here there is no j vector so minus 1 and 0 and k vector 5 into minus 2 can you understand coefficient of i vectors that means five first vector it is 1 and in the second vector it is 3 so 1 into 3 and coefficient of j that is in the first vector it is minus 1 second vector there is no j vector so we can put it as 0 in uh, that means coefficient of k it is 5 in the first vector and minus 2 in the second vector so 5 into minus 2 so 5 in 3 into 1 is 3 and minus 1 into 0 is 0 5 into minus 2 is 10 so totally the answer is minus 7 now coming to vector product previously we have seen scalar product or dot product now this is vector product so here also we are going to take two vectors a vector and b vector both are non-zero vectors and the formula is a vector cross see there is a cross symbol multiplication symbol but that is why it is also called as cross product so a vector cross b vector is modulus of a vector into modulus of b vector into sin theta n cap okay previously for dot product it is modulus of a vector into modulus of b vector into cos theta here it is sin theta into n cap and what is n cap n cap is a unit vector n cap is a unit vector okay 
a unit vector is nothing but the magnitude value is 1 when you find the magnitude of any vector if it is equal to 1 means that vector is called as unit vector so a vector cross b vector is equal to modulus of a vector into modulus of b vector into sin theta n cap and here also we have a vector cross b vector suppose it is equal to 0 means same way modulus of a vector can be 0 or modulus of b vector can be 0 or a vector and b vector are parallel to each other previously in dot product it is perpendicular to each other in cross product if it is equal to 0 means both the vector are parallel it means angle can be 90 degree or 180 degree 0 or pi now how to find cross product of any two vectors so let this be a vector and this is b vector how to find the cross product cross product is very simple it is just a determinant value just write the determinant and first row of the determinant must be i cap j cap and k cap for all the vectors for all the vectors cross product you have to write the first row as i cap j cap and k cap second row must be the coefficient